guys hope you are doing well I am back with days 9 and 10 in my 2021 December daily album this is going to be two days on two page spread that are facing each other and this time we went to go see lights at the park that's close by our house and then the next day was when we went down to our main street for shopping for shopping we went with my husband and my daughter and it was really cool where they have this at the shopping center is like all outside and they have characters walking around and caroling and different things like that in period clothing so it's really neat and it's real fun for the kids and they have carriage rides and the horses and the carriages are all dressed up with Christmas lights and decorations and things so it's really festive and fun they have lights all around Main Street and there's shopping and all that and this particular day was super super warm so we didn't even need to wear coats which is amazing for December and it was just really nice it was crowded but not too crowded it was just a good good mix and like I said it is mostly um, outdoor shopping and then we have the little shops that you go inside but nothing was just overly crowded which was um, which was good I don't really like going shopping when it's super crowded and I was actually surprised it wasn't as crowded as it was because with it being so warm outside. So onto the page, I am just making sure that these colors of the cards and things just kind of match. So I have that three by four card in the top right and it's from uh, Cartabella, I think. And it's got kind of a uh, brown tones to it already, like a shabby kind of color. So I wanted to make sure the other cards and the papers that I'm using kind of mimic that so it doesn't look like I have too bright of whites. So you'll saw me just shading in that striped red and green and white card and then the pages that I'm going to mount the Christmas light photos on. And now it just kind of all blends in a little bit more and nothing just stands out too stark on the page. I went through my die cuts and I picked out a few that I thought would look nice on the different cards. The little candy striped one the red and white one in the bottom left card that was um, a cut apart that came in the six by eight busy sidewalks paper pad that little wooden ornament that I just cut off there that I think I got from Target several years ago it's just an adhesive backed wood veneer ornament and I'm gonna add that to the card there in a little bit now I want to do some stamping I don't think I've done much if any stamping yet this December daily so I'm pulling out my green and red Stampin' Up inks and I'm going to stamp the twinkle stamp in both colors just trying to figure out which I'm gonna like better I end up going with the green one because I am gonna put that twinkle on top of that little tag embellishment that's in the bottom left hand card but both look cute and I think I keep the other twinkle for um, just another maybe page in my layout sometime later on in the month so I'm just going to trim those out and just see which one I like best. And like I said, I am going to go with the green one because I think that's going to contrast more on that red and white striped paper. And it's very sticky. I don't know, these photos are from my selfie and I don't know if it's the paper that I use or what, but everything seems to like stick to it. So you can't like just brush it off. You have to like pick it up off the, the, the photo. And now I'm going to stamp some of these circle ones. Both I'm going to stamp in, well, one I'm going to stamp in red, this December Magic, and then the next stamp, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's going to be stamped in green. And I'm going to punch them out with a circle punch. And I'm going to put one here on that Christmas tree and then one on the lights with the little bears trying to put the snowflake on top of the tree on the left. Just trying to figure out which one I think is going to work best. And I'll stamp that in the green Stampin' Up ink just using some scrap white paper and then a one inch punch that I have. So I think this says December Memories, I think. Yeah, December Memories. So I'll just punch that out and then that will get adhered to that three by four picture on the left side of the layout. So I did shade this because I thought the white was a bit stark, but I didn't think about it and the shading caused the ink to run that I stamped. So I'm just going to restamp it and then just keep it white. I figured it looks fine. I have that white ornament that is on the top left card and it's white and I'm not going to do anything with it. And I think it blends all okay. So I'm just going to leave it as is and keep it white. And then I would glue that on the 
top there and I will trim off the very very top of it I like having circles that kind of come off the edge of the paper so I do add that here and I think that this one needs a bit of washi tape underneath it so I'm gonna pull out this washi, washi tape from Michaels that I've had in my stash for some time and I'm just gonna add this down as a base layer and I think it gives a nice little frame around the little phrase die cut here that I'm gonna add on so I'm just gonna stick that down and I didn't really like how it laid but these photos once you stick something down to them they're stuck so not much going back from that and it fit perfectly fine anyway so I'll just trim that top of that circle off and then that 3x4 is done. I'm going to add this circle to this one. I will be keeping it pretty much all on the photo here. I just trim off the very slightest little bit of the edge on the left hand side. Now I'm going to add some more washi tape down to add a base for the good cheer die cut. And just covers up some of that blank space there on that photo that doesn't have anything interesting in it glue that down and then I'm going to start gluing everything down on that bottom left hand card. I do want to add a little bit of twine to the tag. I don't like my tags being naked so I always add a little bit of something here. So I'm just going to add that on and then snip off any extra and then I will wrap it around a little bit so that the tail kind of stays on the 3x4 card which you'll see in a second. So just gluing everything down. And I'm going to tape that down at a bit of an angle and like I said I'm just gonna take some liquid glue and then wrap that tail around so it stays on the 4x6 card all the way and that way it's just not flapping around and it kind of stays where I want it to stay next I'm going to think about my journaling I want to have hidden journaling on this particular page so I'm gonna be trimming out a couple of different pieces of white cardstock I'm gonna hide it behind that Santa Express ticket that I have in my hand and then the standard size ornament hanger Christmas tree embellishment on the right hand card so I'm just gonna kind of hide that behind it I'm gonna fold it over so that you just flip up the flap and then that's how you get to the journaling now I did not cut the page protector so when this goes in the page protector it does not have the ability to flip open. Um, I have thought about possibly just cutting the page protector so you can flip it but I have not done that yet. But that's a good way to do that. Um, or you can adhere this directly on the front of the page protector and you can slip basically the 3x4 card in the page protector and then this would go on the outside of the page protector. So. That's another way to do it too. That way you don't have to cut your page protector and you can still get to the journaling. And I think it's kind of fun to have some of those elements outside the page protector. Just gives a little bit more added dimension and texture to your pages. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to this little one here. I'm just figuring out exactly where it needs to be cut. So folding it over, trimming it out, and then I'll trim off the excess um, with my little hand trimmer. And anything that overlays the edge, I will just trim out with my scissors here in a couple seconds. So I'm going to end up taking these little pieces of paper to my vintage typewriter and typing out my journaling. I'm also going to type on another smaller piece of paper because it did not all fit on these two. So there is that piece of paper there. You can see here how I'm going to fix one of my mistakes. Um, there's maybe another mistake that I couldn't really fix, but I'm just going to fix this one here. So I just take my white gel pen and cover that up. The Mistakes erase really well on vellum, but when they're on cardstock like this, they just really don't. So I just take a white gel pen and just kind of cover it up, kind of like white out. I can use white out too. I just didn't have white out in my Christmas or my Christmas, my scrapbooking stash. That's another way to do it. So I just cover it up and no big deal. No one's really going to notice. And that way it still looks nice and everything looks fine. So I'm just going to adhere these on the back of these die cuts here. This one doesn't get added on quite right. So I have to pull it off and add it back on again. fiddling with it a bit just making sure everything's gonna fit I didn't want any of the edges to show through the edge of the die cut so now I'm gonna trim out this piece this is also gonna be hidden I'm gonna actually make a little pocket on the back of that Christmas tree paper and I'm gonna add a little pull tab to the top so that you can see that it pulls out and then that will pull out nicely from the top of the page protector so I'm gonna grab a scrap of white paper here in a little bit and I'm gonna make the pocket and this is just part of the branding strip of the 6x8 paper pad I'm going to make a little pull tab. So I'm just taking that little strip, folding it in half, and then adding it to the card. And then I'm going to write pull on a piece of white paper, trim it out, and then add that to the very top of this little tab. So this is where I pull out the scrap of the white paper. 
I'm just going to mark it and trim it so that everything kind of fits in and I'll add some liquid glue around the edges. I recommend using liquid glue when you're making pockets. That way when the glue dries your card when you slip it in and out it does slip in and out nicely. When I use that dry adhesive like the, the tape adhesive and my pockets and things like that or for my pockets and things like that when I use an element that I'm slipping in and out it tends to stick on those that dry adhesive so I definitely think the wet adhesive is the best way to go when it comes to pockets like this you don't have um, as much grab on the cards you're slipping in and out it definitely comes in and out much nicer so I got that all down I'm just gonna make sure that is the right size and it fits in nicely um, I thought that this wasn't adhering very well so I'm just adding a little liquid glue to this as well and then I'm gonna make that little pull tab just writing it on a piece of white cardstock with a uh, red sharpie marker. I'm just writing it real tiny, just the word pull. And I'm going to snip that out and glue that to the top of the tab. So once this is glued down, I'm going to start working on the top left 3x4 card. I'm going to take the little ornament. I am going to add some twine to it so it looks like it is hanging from the top of the card. So you're going to see me do that in a couple minutes. And I thought it needed a little bit of an anchor point too. So I'm taking another one of these branding strips from that 6x8 Busy Sidewalks pad. And I'm going to add that to the top. And I'm just going to trim it out in a banner shape. I'm going to add that there. And I just like how that looks. Like I said, it just kind of grounds the ornament a bit and adds a little bit more fun pattern to the card. I'm just going to use some of this crochet twine here. I'm going to loop it through and just tie it off in a knot and then I'm going to adhere it to the back of the 3x4 card using just some scrap pieces of paper and my dry adhesive just to make sure everything stays down. So I'll flip that over. I like the where it's hanging like I said, I'm just going to use a piece of scrap paper, add a little bit of glue to it, and make it basically as tape. I was just using what I had. I didn't really have tape there in front of me as far as like something that was going to stick really well. So this works in a pinch. And I like how that looks. It looks like it's hanging down now from the top of that card. Next, I am going to finish embellishing this top 3x4 card. Just want to use a doily. I do want to grunge it up just a little bit again so it's not too stark white. I'm going to add that behind the card, or on the back, or not on the back, but the um, the front of the Christmas tree paper card, and it just gives another thing to anchor again that little die cut. So I'm just using some of my adhesive. I'll glue that down, and then that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. Love hearing from you. Let me know how you're doing with your December daily, and I will be back hopefully soon. Bye everybody. Have a great New Year's.